It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Cleveland Browns and the Denver Broncos under the lights on Monday night. Fittingly named in part for its considerable elevation. We're at Empower Field a mile high here in Denver, Colorado. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage and maybe six points, too. To kick off, here's Will Lutz. And here we go at mile high. This return starts at the five. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. So here are the Browns now, headed out for their first drive. Bringing them out to number one pick in 2015, a former league leader in passing, it's Jameis Winston. Think of it this way. Think of every quarterback being a little bit like a chef. They got their own signature style they bring to the field and play the game with. It really does create a unique experience for all of us watching them cook. And his style could be one of the most fun to watch. Some of the plays he makes, other quarterbacks don't even dream of making. And that type of game, often a recipe for success. Chubb here on first down. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. to throw. Here's Winston. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Winston now. Judy there to grab it. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. So many cool fundamentals on display right there, Kate. Look the ball in your hands, number one. Don't turn your eyes away from it before it gets to you. And then when you've got that catch secured, snap that head forward and find that space upfield to turn a good play into a great play. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. Running right with Chubb. He gets it ahead, winds up with about three. Sent down by Cody Barton. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. Winston to throw it. Brought in close to the eight. And he's going to take this one in for the Cleveland touchdown. The Browns take a 6-0 lead on their opening drive. It's a Jerry Judy touchdown. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when he could go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, Ooh, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. On comes Dustin Hopkins to try the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Browns will jump out to a 7-0 lead.
Hopkins has it on the tee and he's ready to send it flying. Here's Trayvon Smith with the return. He's stopped on the return at the 27. So the Broncos offense getting set for their first drive. They'll be let out by the former first rounder out of both Oregon and Auburn. It's Bo Nix. Bo Nix entered this league as a grown-up. 61 college starts will do that for you. A ton of college experience. And Bo Nix is a facilitator. When he is at his best, that ball is in and out of his hands in an absolute hurry. If he were a point guard on a basketball team, he'd want to go up and down the court and get it out of his hands as quickly as he can. He's accurate, he's tough, he's experienced, and he's poised for this challenge of the NFL. Opening play, and Bo will throw. Dumps it off to his running back. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Now the first run of the game for Javante Williams. And he started to get through the lane before it closed. Three yards there. Tackle there from Dalvin Tomlinson. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Nicks from the gun. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the defense comes through. That's going to back them up and bring up fourth down. It's exactly how you draw it up defensively. A three and out and a sack on top of it. Create that negative play. Create a little doubt in that quarterback's mind. And offensively, well, that's the worst way to start it. No rhythm, no tempo. And now you give the ball right back to the opponent. Broncos looking at a punt on fourth down, and Riley Dixon on to handle that. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. Officially a 55-yard launch. And the Browns will go on offense. New set of downs for him from the 46. Here's Winston to the air. That one complete to Najoku. And this goes across midfield and into Broncos territory. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Here's Chubb. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Third and a lone yard coming up. Chubb going for the marker. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. Calm, cool, collected from this offense. Love to see it. No tunnel vision on what down it was. Just focused on executing the play in front of them. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. This is Chubb. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. If there's ever a play we could call garden variety in the NFL, <laughs> I think we just saw it right there. That's an uneventful run and a pretty sound stop there defensively. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Mm -hmm. 
Here's Winston. Able to get it to Moore. And he's taken down at the 30. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Winston looking to throw. Has him on the quick hitter. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Jump running out of the gun. And he's in! It's a Cleveland touchdown! The Browns get another six to make this a 13-0 game! It's a Nick Chubb touchdown! Well, he found himself some space to work, and from there, all athleticism as he made his way in for six. You know, you run the ball down in the red zone, Kate, you're not always thinking touchdowns, right? Space is so hard to come by. Mm -hmm. But you're exactly right. His athleticism, his explosion, his speed, it puts six on the board for the offense. PAT is up and good from Hopkins. And the Browns drive out to an early 14-0 lead. Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. Here's Smith on the return. This return makes it up to the 25. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Shotgun snap to Nix. Finds a man, Adam Trapman has it. And they'll manage to contain him after about a six-yard pickup. The former first-rounder Devin Bush making the play. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Up the gut they go with Williams. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Another run for Williams. And he's only able to power this forward for about three yards. Second down now, seven to go. Play action with Nix. Escapes the pocket. He's stepping up and takes off with this one. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. You know, before the snap, you know, right before the snap, you may have to take off if the read isn't there. That was a great adjustment made at the perfect time for the first down. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Nick's looking to throw. Able to get it to Franklin. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37 yard line. Yeah. 
Second and three now. Knicks off the play action. Flushed out of the pocket. And this time they're going to get there and they drop him. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. Hey, God bless the Ted Washingtons, Casey Hamptons, Vince Wilforks, all the run stuffers back in the day. But the D tackles of today, you not only have to stuff the run, you have to eat up the pass too. And that D tackle just got it done. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Now they'll throw out of the gun. Throw left side, complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. From the gun, a carry by Williams. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. To be a stud back in this league, it takes more than just checking the athletic boxes. There's an IQ, a feel, a patience and craftiness required, along with just tremendous vision. He showed all of it navigating that run up the middle. From the red zone now. Throwing the out route complete. And he's tackled for a short game. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. They're going play action. That's into the hands of Franklin. And he's got it inside the 15 before going out. All plays on the table here for third and three. They go play action here. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. They'll throw again. Knicks. He's got it. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. Still chances to get these final four yards. It's second and goal. Williams will not get past the line. He's held up at the four. Well, now things get a little dicey for this offense. One down left before a big decision to make. Do you continue to try running it against a front that stopped you, or are you now forced to put the ball in the air? So now, here's third and goal. Knicks. And he sails that one over the end zone. Well, you got to have a short memory in the NFL. Incompletions happen. Now you got to make the adjustment and go get the next one. Will Lutz getting the call on fourth down to put three up here for the Broncos. A pretty automatic look for him from the left. Bertolette able to knock it through. And that'll get him back to 11. In that close, kicks have to be automatic. That won't stop the head coach, though, from holding his breath for a couple seconds until he sees it's up and good. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. 
fielded at the seven. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. Drive starts out with a first and 10. They begin the drive with Chubb. We'll have him gain up about a handful there. Riley Moss with that tackle. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Throwing now off play action. Finds a seam down the middle. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. As any quarterback will tell you over the course of their career, it's not easy to deliver an accurate throw as you're about to get smacked. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. Here's a give to Chubb. And they love to see him fighting forward, but he only gets him three. Second down now, seven to go. Winston now. Moore's got it. And he gets him around six there. Drew Sanders that time on the stop. Third down, one yard to go. They are running from the gun with Chubb. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. So often, one of the things you have to teach running backs at the NFL level, you don't always have to hit a home run, especially in short yardage situations. Just go get that single and move the chains. First down, ball at the 36. They go with Chubb here. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and 10. These linebackers of today, they are so quick. They're so twitchy. You don't get a body on them in a hurry, they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. To throw. Here's Winston. That's to his back. Nick Chubb. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Kate, that's one of those situations as a quarterback that on my grade sheet, that's a negative. That screen was ambushed by the defense, and you've got to throw it away. Just find a way to put it at his feet and not create a negative play for your offense. Here he is on third and long. He put everything he had into this one. He's got it deep downfield. That's a Cleveland touchdown. A quick second score for him, Brock, already. And we aren't even out of this opening quarter yet. Yeah, I think I just saw that D coordinator rip up his game plan down on the <laughs> sidelines <laughs> because you got to find some new resources here. You got to you got to dedicate more bodies, more physicality to this playmaker because we know in this league when you get a guy going like this, they're going to go to him until you stop him. On his Hopkins for the extra point. Right down the middle. It's good. And the Browns push their lead to 18.
Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. Here's a return from the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Off the play fake, he'll throw. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. That's somebody they're going to look for if he has any space deep. That space, though, Kate, just disappeared between when he let that pass go and when he actually made it down the field. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Nick's from the gun. Getting out to his left. Ooh, look at this. Here he goes. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And the Broncos will have a first down. Give to Williams from the gun. And the power play up the gun only results in two yards. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They stay on the ground with Williams. And he manages to get back to the line, but no further, as we're at the end of one. That's the end of our first quarter. Three more to go still on Monday night. Bit of an early blowout, 21 to 3. We'll get you back to mile high after this. We're back, and it is Broncos football as we resume. They have third down and eight. And that one's too far in front of them, so now they're facing fourth down. So many coaches love third downs, and they practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know you've got to execute and convert on these third downs. Riley Dixon getting set to punt it once again. Now this one, not much of a chance of it staying in the field of play. They'll mark it out at the 13-yard line. The Browns and wide receiver Jerry Judy getting set for their next drive. And unless the coverage adjusts to slow him down, Brock, he's going to be busy and a productive target for them throughout the rest of this contest. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Winston to throw it. Finds him over the middle. And he'll have it up to about the 23-yard line on the play. It's a pickup of 11. And that's good for a Cleveland first down. Here's Winston to the air. Judy there to grab it. And he's going to be out of bounds just before reaching the 30. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 28. Doesn't make the connection. First time this game they've looked to him. And it'll be third and five coming up. I'm just going to say maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away. The next time, well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. 
Third down from the gun. He has the first over the middle. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. That one gains seven. And that gives the Browns a first. They're set up at the 35 now. Here's Winston. That one's incomplete over the middle. They would sure love to connect on some of these intermediate throws, those chunk throws. Getting a completion like that, well, not only does it spark your offense, but it just sets you up for even more aggressive play calling. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. They give inside to jump. And the push forward doesn't get beyond the line. In on the tackle is Jonathan Cooper. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. Winston. Throw reeled in by Najoku. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes. They so often tell the story of every position on the field. When that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read, and so often it's a tight end, well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. And that one comes down at the two before bouncing into the end zone for a touchback. They're out and set. First and ten. Here's Williams to start the drive. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. Second and six coming up here. Out of the gun, it's Nix. As a man, that's Cortland Sutton. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. They're set up at the 35 now. Williams now on first and ten. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 37. Throw complete to Williams. And they had that one contained right at the line. Hauled to the ground by Jordan Hicks. Kate, I'm going to call that, even though it looks like nothing on the stat sheet, a win-win for both sides. The defense, well, they rally. They get right to that throw in the flat for a no gain. The offense, well, they just remind that defense. You not only got to cover us vertically, but we're going to stretch you horizontally as well. Has him on the quick hitter. And they'll have it across midfield as he runs out. 16 yards on the play. And that'll be good for a Denver first. New set of downs for him from the 46. Play action with Nix. Pass taken in by Sutton. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. It's a gain of 22. And the Broncos will have a first down.
Nick's looking to throw. Got Williams, and it's complete. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Okay, I know exactly what's going to happen. I've seen it once. I've seen it a hundred times. <laughs> Next week on the practice field, this running back's going to say, see, I'm not just a running back. I can play receiver. And you receivers, you couldn't do my job, but I just showed you I could do yours. Straight ahead with Williams. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. He managed six on the play, bringing up second and four. Motioning him from the slot right. On second down, a run with Williams. And he takes this down close, up to the three. A four-yard pickup, and they're just inches shy as we reach third down. Nix off the play action. And he'll score! Touchdown, Denver! The Broncos fighting back and shaving six off that lead. Well, Brock, it wasn't hard to see why they botched on that play fake. Even our camera operator was fooled into thinking it was a run, but certainly made it easier to connect on that touchdown pass. And that's all about the attention to details, Kate. Really is. The offensive line getting their pads down. The running back and quarterback at that mesh point making it look exactly like a run. You do the details on the front end, and the play-action game rewards follow on the back end. Will Lutz now on for the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Broncos make it an 11-point ball game. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. Kickoff taken at the three. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Winston looking to throw. That one is incomplete, couldn't hang on through the contact. Hey, Mr. Quarterback, uh, that's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage was waiting for it. thinking interception to be had. And incompletion is still pretty good for the defense. No dice on that prior pass, here's second down. Here's Chubb up the middle. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. You know, Coach gets in that QB's headset, probably told his offense and his QB, listen, I don't want to see a third down on this possession. Or something kind of like that. Whatever version he told him, it worked. First down, and they go right back to it. Gets it ahead, has about five yards. Drew Sanders that time on the stop. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. Hey, Kate, you want to know how crazy your partner is next to you? <laughs> I would love to take a fan right out of these stands and put them there on that play, just so they could feel what a five-yard run feels like. Because it may not look like anything on the stat sheet, but I promise you if the average person felt the pain of what a five-yard game was, they'd have a whole new perspective. Just two yards there on the carry. They're going to need another two now on third down. Staying on the ground here with Chubb. 
And he's caught behind the line for a loss. If only this defense could look like that on every play, Kate. They were angry, motivated, focused. And they took that anger out on him and this offense, forcing a fourth down. Corey Bajorquez on the punt. And he wants to hit his second effort just as well as he hit his first. Absolutely crushed his first punt, and here's another huge one. Drive starts out with a first and ten. To throw, here's Nix. Completed over the middle. He's corralled after a modest four-yard gain. Hauled to the ground by Jordan Hicks. Second and six coming up here. Shotgun snap to Nix. Completed to Sutton. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. They're set up at the 35 now. They'll run. This is Williams. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Here's Nick's to throw. Dumped off to his running back. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. We've heard it said, and I believe it to my core, football is the ultimate team sport. And a well-run screen like that is the ultimate team play because it takes all 11 doing their job. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Now Nix. It's taken in by Williams. And he's got it up to midfield and into Brown's territory. As an offense, you don't call a screen, Kate, expecting to gain just a few yards. You call it expecting to break off something big and substantial. But it's up to that defense to stay ahead of it, to keep it contained to something much smaller. Case in point right there. Second and six coming up here. Off the plate fake, he'll throw. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. Looked like a bit of a concentration drop on that one. And that brings up third down. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. On third down, here's Nix. <laughs> Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And this one doesn't go far. You get to that money down, that third down, you look to your money players, and this tight end is capable of it. Let's give some credit to the defense right there. Did an amazing job not only sticking to him, but bringing him down before he can move the chains. Dixon on to put a charge into this punt. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. So this one carries all the way to the sideline and out. No chance to make a play on that, and they'll take over at the 16-yard line. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. And off to Chubb to start the drive. And he found some running room for a nice game. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. A 
again. It's Chubb. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Third and a lone yard coming up. To throw. Here's Winston. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Part of what's earned him status, Brock, is one of the league's better tight ends. Are those hands, right? His dependable hands. So shouts to the defense there because he wasn't able to hang on that time. Kate, it's one thing for these defenders to separate a receiver from the ball, mm -hmm. but to do so on a stud tight end, that's big time. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. The Broncos and quarterback Bo Nix gearing up for their next series. They've got first down from the 31. Nicks from the gun. Got a man, it's Marvin Mims. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. Up the gut they go with Williams. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Where one defender failed, well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Another run for Williams. Runs into traffic and hits a wall. No gain. And former first-rounder Devin Bush making the play. Stuffed at the line a second time. And now it'll be third and ten. Putting a receiver in motion. Here he is on third and long. Finds Mims. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. Riley Dixon on the punt. And he'll try to hit this one well. Oh, they are loving this one. It flies out of bounds, and it wasn't too far off the end zone. They're going to say it crossed at the three. The Browns with their offense back out there as Nick Chubb returns to the field. And I'd say the ROI on his early touches have made him a, a pretty good investment for first half work. He's gotten off to a great start here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. On the ground, it's a give to Chubb. And this one gets up to the 14-yard line before he stopped. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's good for a Cleveland first down. Yeah, you want to get above five yards to carry? Well, put together runs like that. And I'll tell you what else a run like that does, Kate. That sets up the play action. Right? When you really just gouge and gash a defense like that, the next time you run that action, they're going to be thinking running the ball to go right over their head. Able to get it to Moore. And he'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. The Browns take the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime.
The drive picks up here, first and ten. Here's Winston. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a thrower for something. It brings up second down. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, well, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Winston to throw it. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. So a little too much contact on the part of the defender, and the officials flag him for it. A fresh set of downs after that penalty. Here's first and ten. Winston. Finding Judy. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 28 out of that play. And that gives the Browns a first. Winston now. Into traffic. Complete. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. Timeout taken by the offense, their second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. They'll come up first and ten. He'll throw it yet again. Big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. I know we talk about rhythm a lot when it comes to music, but it's the same thing with the quarterback and his protection. This QB was in rhythm, but they knocked the notes out of him on that one. Just before halftime, we get a timeout taken. Justin Hopkins is going to try this Browns field goal from the right hash. This is going to be a 51-yarder. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that extends their lead to 14. I know we see these kickers make kicks from this distance all the time, but it never ceases to be impressive. Everything's on the dot, and it's a big three points. Well, Brock, barring the touchback, this kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. One last play before the break. Throwing it just before halftime. He's throwing deep to the left side. That's grabbed inside the 30. And somehow they've reached the end zone with no time remaining in the half. So late in the half, Brock, why not take a shot downfield? And their prayers are answered as they come up with that late touchdown. You know, this is just a case of who wants it more. If you're in that secondary, all you're thinking is knock the ball down. Yeah. Even if you make some contact, right, they rarely call pass interference on plays like that. But somehow, some way, the ball winds up as a touchdown. Extra point try now from Lutz. 
Yeah, and the kick is good, so they take some valuable points off that lead right at the end of this half. So that's halftime here in this one. The Browns on the road, but currently in front. Now we'll send you to our studios in Orlando and Jonathan Coachman for a look around the league with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. We saw a solid first half out of the workhorse Nick Chubb. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Well, if you love high-scoring games, no doubt you have been glued to your television so far. And no signs of slowing down as we begin our second half. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. They're out and set, first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Nix. Mims with the grab. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Second half starts with a run by Williams. And he'll get them enough for a first down. You know what I like about a second and short run play, Kate? Yeah, I like getting a first down. But you know what I like even more? That's going to set up a play action pass in a similar down and distance. And that defense is going to have to key on the run. First down, ball at the 36. From the gun, a carry by Williams. And two yards is all he's going to get before he's caught. Juan Thornhill getting there for the stop. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. This is Williams. He'll drive it forward, but won't get beyond the line. Miles Garrett coming in for the stop. No gain on that one, and now it's third and eight. Throwing here, Knicks. Complete beyond the marker. It's a pickup of 11, and that'll be good for a Denver first. You know, Kay, that is the epitome of trust right there. Right, when the ball is let out of his hands, I think everybody on the sidelines in the stadium went, because <gasps> he threw it in double coverage. And you may question the decision, but it's tough to challenge it when it produces results like that. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Nix has him on the quick hitter. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Well, the odds aren't great when you throw into double coverage. Normally, you see one of the defenders make a play on the ball. Two men nearby, and that's a missed opportunity for the coverage to make an impact play. Second down now, seven to go. Williams on the carry. And they bring him down around the 34. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And the Broncos will have a first down. It was University of Wisconsin, Kate, the first time I heard this term, slow to explode through. And think how good that Badgers run game has been at the college level. Well, they made runs like that look easy. Slow to 
explode through. Going to the ground again on first. This is ahead for about five. From the secondary, Grant Delpit on the tackle. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. From the 29. Short pass brought in. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. There's no question the greatest concern there was just getting the first down. You want a high percentage throw and you're not really concerned about big yards. Well, the drag route was perfect. He comes open the short field. It's easy to zip that throw right in there and reset those chains. On first and 10, here's Nix. That one's complete over the middle. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. A handoff for Williams, running left. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Here we go, third and less than a yard. Shotgun snap to Nix. This one's caught. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. A gain of three, and now they're going to be able to plan for first and goal. It's a design boot. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. Throwing with a blitz on the way. He's got it. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. Buckle up, it's third and goal. Williams, and he runs it across, touchdown! The Broncos cut into the lead, coming out of halftime. Javante Williams, the touchdown! So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. Extra point try now from Lutz. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Broncos tie this game up. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. Starting from the five. This return makes it up to the 25. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Slot man in motion right. 
Okay, and the wide receiver is gonna get it to begin the drive. And he's brought down for a loss. Hey, don't get me wrong, Kate. Every defensive guy, they watch tape in their own ways. But linebackers, well, they're a little bit like quarterbacks. They got to develop that sixth sense by watching that tape so they can diagnose and get home in a hurry like he just did. Here's second and 11. Completed over the middle. And he'll go down at, we'll say, right at the 39-yard line. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. They give inside to Chung. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. Here's Chubb on second down. Brushes him off with ease. He only finds a window for two, but that's still enough for a first down. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, Kate, if you wanted to take your shots. But some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw Judy there to grab it. And they can't jump to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a 30-yard play, Brock, and they've got a fresh set of downs. He just made a difficult throw to the outside. Look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helps set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. From the red zone now. And he's got it. Touchdown, Cleveland. The Browns grab the lead on their first series of the half. If you're going to complete that one successfully, Brock, you need the perfect throw. Just the right touch. And you also need a guy who can go up and get it just like that. Yeah, need to be able to muscle somebody off the ball if you're not alone. And call me a little biased. Go ahead. I don't care. <laughs> you're biased. But the success of that play does come down to the timing of the uh, throw, Kate. Uh -huh. If you don't throw it on time to that exact spot, you run out of room, and you don't give yourself that kind of chance. On his Hopkins for the extra point. Right down the middle. It's good. And the Browns break that tie and now lead by seven. Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. Here's Smith on the return. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Drive begins with a run. It's Williams. And he found some running room for a nice game. Call it nine yards. Looked like a first for a moment. It's second and one.
They stay on the ground with Williams. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Battle coming up on third and inches. Running for the marker with Williams. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. It's a gain of four. And that'll be good for a Denver first. Most of the people watching will forget about that play in a couple minutes. But the coaches won't forget. He has that filed away the next time he really needs to pick up a few yards. Throwing on first down, Nix. Completed to Sutton. And that's good for a gain of five. From the secondary, Grant Delpit on the tackle. Offense to the line for second down. Nix from the gun. He's got a man left. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Nick's now to throw. Nothing there left side as it ends up incomplete. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Give to Williams from the gun. And that plunge is going to garner a couple of yards. Hauled to the ground by Jordan Hicks. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. Blitz coming, Nix. It's taken in by Williams. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Translatable skills, that's what you call it. So effective as a runner, but those same traits that make him a great runner, adept at getting those yards, well, he translates it now as a receiver in the open field. First and 10 from the 41. Here's Nix. It is cut left side. And he's a yard or two shy of the 30 before going out. In a good spot here, second and inches. Nick's off the play action. Has it at the seven. And he drives this forward to the six. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Working inside the red zone. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. Took his shot at six that time. And that makes it second and goal. Quarterbacks, well, they're a lot like sharpshooters in the NBA. Sometimes they're just going to miss. you got to shake it off and keep on firing. So the incompletion on first. Here's second and goal. They'll throw again. Knicks. And the defender comes away with it. Denzel Ward makes the play. Mm-mm-mm. There are costly interceptions, Brock. And then there are interceptions inside the red zone in the second half of a one-score game. And if there is ever a time where ball security is paramount, it is right now. Yeah. They made a great play. Don't get me wrong. They deserve a ton of credit right there. Mm -hmm. But as a quarterback, you cannot risk a turnover. It's touchdown, it's check down, it's throw the ball away. You're literally throwing points away with that pick. And 
the drive will start out with a first and ten. They begin the drive with Chubb. Broke through the tackle. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. Even though that run did not net them a first down, I can promise you this, Kate. I promise you. I know how it works. They're going to circle that one. They're going to remember that one. And when they need some key yards on the ground, they'll come back to that call later. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Staying on the ground here with Chubb. He breaks the tackle. It's a gain of 12 there. And that's good for a Cleveland first down. Winston looking to throw. Chased out to his right. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Those defenses spend all week trying to find that numbers advantage. How can I get a guy free? Or how do I get my best rusher in a one-on-one -on -one to beat him and get home and get that sack? That was study put into action for the SACK. To the line they go. It's second down. Here's Chubb up the middle. He locates a couple of yards through that chaos. Drew Sanders that time on the stop. Only a couple there, hoping obviously for considerably more. And that's going to bring up third and very long. Winston. Moore's got it. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Pursue, pursue, pursue. It's why they do these drills all the time, Kate. You do it through the offseason, you do it through training camp, you do it in the regular season. Because when a defense plays with tremendous pursuit, you force fourth downs just as they did. The Browns are lined up to punt. He's been hitting it well so far. This is another big one. And that hit at the five, but got the bounce it needed to reach the end zone for a touchback. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. No luck finding his receiver that time. And now it's second down. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Again on second and 10, Nix. He completes it in traffic. Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Hauled to the ground by Jordan Hicks. Third and four coming up now. Out of the gun, it's Nicks. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down.
He was too far downfield at the time of the pass. Got to stay within a yard of the line. That'll back him up. So now, after the penalty, it's first and 15. He'll throw it yet again. Quick slant, caught by Sutton. And they can't chop to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They strike for 23 yards. And the Broncos will have a first down. Only one quarter remains in our final game of the week. That's the end of the third. It's Broncos football. They're on a mission here. They trail entering the fourth. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Straight ahead with Williams. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. Shotgun snap to Nix. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. They get six and a first down as well. Now Nix. Hits him on the out route. And they get this down to the seven yard line. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. Small pass, big result. This dude is just a juggernaut with the football, and once he gets rolling, it gets tougher and tougher and tougher to stop him from playing add-on with those yards. First and goal, here's Williams. The Denver touchdown. The Broncos now trailed by just a point in the fourth. Javante Williams, the touchdown. They kept it on the ground as opposed to airing it out. And that time, well, Brock, the ground game paid off. Well, these great rushing attacks down here that could score rushing touchdowns, it takes the whole party getting involved. Yeah, the burst of the running back was tremendous. How about the launch of his blockers right off the line of scrimmage? That's a touchdown the entire way, and it took the entire group offensively. The kick is good, so this game now hinging on every possession as we're tied up in the fourth. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. Returning it from the four. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. They're out and set. First and ten. And off to Chubb to start the drive. And they get him down after a solid gain up to the 31. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Jerry Judy, the intended receiver. And it'll be third and five coming up. 
One of the rare instances there, Brock, where the quick slant doesn't win against zone coverage. You just couldn't hang on to the football. No, we know this, Caden. Man coverage is about that separation, right? Yeah. You've got to win and create leverage versus zone. It's all about that anticipation and accuracy. And if you're not on point... Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the defense comes through to back them up ahead of fourth down. As we're into the fourth quarter, we know this. We know that money down could not be any more important than right now. Both sides are certainly fatigued. You feel it in both their play. But battling through what's been a physical contest all game long going to be the key here down the stretch. Hunting unit out now. And he's been getting all of it every time out. This is away, and once again, he's caught all of it. And he collects the fair catch just inside the 35. The Broncos about to get going on offense. Javante Williams headed back out now. And get that big old marker out. Cross a major number off his roadmap after that last drive. He's reached one of the marks that every back strives to hit at some point during the season. Ball at the 33 for first down. Nick's looking to throw. Complete out to the right side. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. New set of downs for him from the 46. Running right, it's Williams. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. From the 47. Cut by Sutton. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Third down, one yard to go. Up the gut they go with Williams. Stiff arm success. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And that'll be good for a Denver first. That's the kind of run that shows he's trying to take some stress off the passing game to provide big plays. What a great help to that side of an offense when the ground game can deliver chunk plays too. They have themselves another first and ten. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Brought in by Vele. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Play action with Nix. Finds his fullback. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. That goes as a four-yard pickup, and it gets him a first down. It's always nice to see teams still employ a fullback. I love rewarding the big guy with some touches during a game. They earned those looks. That was a well-run route, and he showed some soft hands to bring it in. From the red zone now. Has him on the quick hitter. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play.
Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Nicks from the gun. Cash is made in close. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. They don't pick up anything there, and now it's second and goal. You know, Kate, these are the situations in training camp that I love more than anything to watch. You learn so much about a football team in these goal to go situations. You know, you got to protect that goal line in the defense. Well, they did the job on first down. More to come. Cut me in the goal line. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. This defense didn't give up contain there, Kate. That was an instance where the more exciting plays were taken away downfield. And even looking to the tight end wasn't going to net them much. They've held him out twice. Here we go, third and goal. Here is Williams. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. It's results like that that drive coordinators nuts. Premature balding, gray, wrinkles, all of it, Kate. You call something conservative. The last thing you're thinking is you're going to lose yards on a third and one run. Here comes Will Lutz. A lot riding on this field goal try. Angling this one in from the right hash to challenge here. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And they take the lead in the fourth quarter. That field goal gives them the lead for the moment, Kate, but you don't feel comfortable when you look up at that scoreboard. This one isn't over, and that lead certainly isn't safe. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. This return starts at the five. And he's gonna make this to the 28 before going down. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Off the play fake. He's going to throw. To the sideline it goes. He's got it beyond the marker. Looks like he stayed in as well. It's a great pickup. 16 yards, and now they've got first down. A jolt to start that drive. They're up near the 45-yard line. Winston to throw it. The Broncos get to him here. He's brought down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Final quarter. This quarterback's just feeling the need to do a little extra. Try to make something happen outside the pocket. But the problem? <laughs> Defense wouldn't let them. They have that same kind of urgency. They want to make some plays of their own before they hit the showers. And they got one right there with that sack. All right, here we go. Second down. Another try following the sack. That one complete to Njoku. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Third and six for them to figure out now. Winston now. He'll get this complete to Chubb. Breaks the tackle, green grass ahead. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And that gives the Browns a first. 
Something out of nothing, Kate, that may as well be listed on his resume because he's so good at it. Caught that one near the line, and after that, it was all him. Turning a modest pass into far more than a modest game. Ball at the 33 for first down. The give now to Chubb. And they needed more than one defender there. Powerful runner stopped for just one yard. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here's Winston. Able to get it to Moore. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's good for a Cleveland first down. Working inside the red zone. It's into the hands of Cho. And they'll advance this down to the five-yard line. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives them first and goal. Kate, I can promise you, you go back and look at the most efficient offenses in the NFL over the last couple decades, one thing will resonate. You've got to be able to attack the middle of the field. It's great to do it with receivers. It's awesome with tight ends. But when you get that influence from your running backs, man, you become a dangerous offense to stop. Into the end zone, but someone's able to knock it away. That's incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. It's second and goal. Well, QB put it pretty close to the sideline to begin with, and the defender, look at him, just put his little hand right out there. It just encouraged it to fall out of bounds. Judy now in motion left. Oh, surprise gift to the receiver near the goal line. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. You know, when receivers have room to operate, that's a play that can totally gash a defense. But, kid, when you get down here in the red zone, it becomes so much tougher because you have a whole lot less space. And, in fact, you'll see defenses swarm like that one just did. Here he is on third and long. Touchdown, Cleveland! The impact this guy has had on this game, Brock, has been massive. They'd be on the comeback trail right now if it wasn't for his two touchdowns. Yeah, and that second one far bigger than his first when you just look at the game circumstances. Puts him in front here in the second half and puts a little jet fuel in the engines of their defense. Now a try to go up by four. Put it out of the range of a field goal. The point after splits the uprights. And the Browns take a four-point lead. Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. On the return, here's Mims. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Nick Snat a throw. Short pass brought in. Second down now, seven to go. 
From the gun, a carry by Williams. And he's short of the first after a mild gain. Call it a gain of six, and they need only two now on third down. Looking to throw. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out. And the Browns pick it up. And they limit the damage on the return, but it is still a turnover. Hey, a normal old stop with third down just wasn't good enough for this crew. Uh-uh. Nope, they had to rip the ball away from them, literally, in an impressive and dominant play that sets their offense up for success. While a new offense preps to head out, we've got a stoppage. They want to make sure this is a turnover. Yeah, pretty bang-bang play out there. It's tough to see exactly what happened on our first look in real time. But you know what I like here, and I do appreciate, and these officials are so good at let the play just play itself out yeah. before calling it dead. Now all the replays and the camera angles will give us such a better idea of really what happened. So the nice defensive play, all for naught. He was down first, no fumble. Here comes the Broncos punting unit. And this is going to be his fourth effort tonight. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. And that fair catch corralled just beyond the 25-yard line. That punt goes unanswered, no return there. And the Browns will go on offense. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. To throw. Here's Winston. He's got time here. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. Winston looking to throw. He's on the move. He takes it himself. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. So a tough spot now. This is third and nine. Looking to throw. Judy there to grab it. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. I don't care how good a secondary you are, how loaded you are with talent, when you've got time to allow a receiver to work from one side of the field all the way to the other versus zone coverage, well, you're going to make a defense pay. That brings us to the two-minute warning here in Denver. Browns up by four. Ball on the 45, first and ten. Job running out of the gun. And it's a rare defensive win on the ground. He's caught at the line. Now just four seconds after our two-minute warning, we've got another pause. Timeout taken by the defense. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Again, it's Chubb. And it's a rare defensive win on the ground. He's caught at the line. No surprises here. Defense quick to stop that clock. We've got 153 left in this game. Third and ten. Can this offense get it done? 
Back to throw it. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. Now the Broncos take their third and final timeout. And they are quite frustrated having to call that after giving up the first. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. He goes to a knee as time winds down in this one. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. Second down. Probably going to see him kneel it again here. Here's Chubb on second down. And he'll only get this to the 26 before going down. They'll get that yard back, but no more. It's third and 10. Setting up for the kneel down on third. They drop to a knee, and what little time we have left here is going to tick down. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. Here's an important kick now for Dustin Hopkins. This is a 44-yard look from the right hatch. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And they're going to grow their lead late, but still a one-score ball game. So the Browns will take this win home with them. And with the start they had in that first quarter, Brock, it is no surprise to see them come away with a victory at the end. They really did all they could to put this out of reach early. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time. It's a well-earned win for the Browns, as we'll see you next time from Denver.